friends, it's Judith here from Snugglebugs, and we all know that Baby loves to keep close to Mama in a carrier, but today Tamara from Body By You is gonna show us some great exercises that you can do even when you're snuggling Baby close, secure in a carrier. That's right. And I've been working with women for well over 10 years, both on the pre and the postnatal side, and you're right, sometimes Baby wants to be so close to you, and they need that, and you need that time too, so I'm gonna show you a couple of key exercises you can do to get started on your path and journey back to fitness. So one of the key moves we're going to start with is a squat. We squat essentially all the time when we're sitting at the table, sitting on the couch, getting up from bed, um, but there is a real specific way we do it for fitness. So with baby on you in your carrier, and we do have a stand in today, <laughs> Judith you're going to stand with your feet about hip width apart, okay? And then you're going to slowly bend your knees, taking your hips back behind you, that's right, and then coming up. And you are gonna tip forward with them. So depending on how old baby is and where their um, comfort is in their uh, neck and holding their head, you might want to exactly keep them secure and supported. Excellent. So she's doing a couple of really great things here. She's keeping those knees right over top of the feet and not going forward, okay? And that makes sure that we're really activating the glutes, the backside of the legs. That's great. Her chest is lifted, her back is nice and flat. She's supporting baby. And this is a great move that simulates lots of muscles throughout the legs, um, the entire lower half of the body, and it's a great calorie burner. So a variation on the squat is going to be what we call a sumo squat or a plie squat. And this is it's a great thing to do if your baby's a little bit longer, longer through the legs, and that, that way you've got uh, room for the baby's legs to go. So what you're gonna do is go wider, a wider stance, that's right, and your toes will be slightly turned out. And that's correct. And then your knee, when you bend your knees and you're gonna take your hips right back, your knees are gonna come and follow the direction of your toes, that's right. So she's going down and when she comes up she's pushing through her heels and she's squeezing her glutes on the way up really activating the back side of that body excellent she's breathing her back is nice and flat she's breathing in on her way down she's breathing out on her way up the next exercise we're going to show you is for the sweet spot which is the side of the leg and all these muscles down here are part of a group called the abductors so what Judith is going to do, she's going to stand on one leg and her other leg is going to be out to the side and she's going to lift her heel and then come back down. That's right. So her toes facing, I'm going to get you to stop right there. So you're just going to go up and then come back down. Good. So her toes facing straight, her knee is facing straight in front. So she's really utilizing these muscles here. Okay. Good. She's supporting baby. There's a slight bend in that standing leg that's supporting the knee and her lower back. Fabulous. Now we're going to show you a combination move. So this is really putting two exercises together to really create a lot of muscle stimulation. So what Judith is going to do is she's going to do a basic squat first along with a side leg lift or an abduction lift. So she's going to go for her squat first. Good. And then up one side. That's it. Come down. Good. And when she comes for that squat, her feet are about hip width apart still. Good, and if baby's a little bit longer, you're gonna go for that more of that wide sumo squat. Good, so that, yep, so that baby has some room for the legs to hang. Excellent. Her hips are coming back, and she stands up. She's squeezing her glutes. And this is a really great balance challenge because when you're pregnant, your center of gravity completely shifts, and in the couple of months post, your gravity, again, completely shift back. So it's always testing your balance. This is a great exercise to do for that. All right, now let's get into those back of the lower legs. So we're gonna talk, we're talking about the calves here. All right, so it's probably been a long time since you've been in high heels, <laughs> but we're going to work them to get them nice and strong so that the moment you've got to put on a pair of heels, you'll be ready. All right, so we're going to do this supported first. So if your center of gravity is off, it's great to find something sturdy that you can hold on to, especially with baby. So Judith's gonna have her feet hip width apart, okay? And she's just going to lift all of her weight up on her toes and then come back down, that's it. And the tracking here is important. She's not bending or collapsing at the ankle. Her ankle is driving straight up in front of her toes. She's doing it absolutely wonderfully. Good, you maintain breathing throughout the whole thing. 
Go hold your breath, make sure the air is circulating through your body. All right, we've got another exercise for the lower part of the body. This is a lunge that we're going to do, and we're actually going to alternate this lunge. So you're gonna work both legs at the same time. All right, so we're gonna start with, yep, one foot back, one foot forward. And the key thing here is to make sure that you're stable. So you don't wanna be standing on a straight line. You wanna make sure one foot is in front of that hip that it's attached to, and the other leg is aligned with the same hip there, okay? so. You're going to bend, good, and then step together. Yep, and then step back and bend and come together. When you're starting your alternating lunge, it's great to set yourself up. So don't go into this as a one fluid motion. Stop, get your balance, do your dip, come back. Place a foot, get your balance, good, and come back, great. Now we've got an upper body and a lower body movement that's really gonna target the side of your body. So what this is, is a little bit of a standing oblique crunch, okay? So Judith is gonna start with weight on one leg, okay? So she, the one leg is going to be working. She's going to lift her knee out to the side, all right? And her arm is reaching up nice and high. Fabulous. So we get a big stretch and then a big crunch. And what she's trying to do when she brings her elbow to her knee is she's trying to really kind of collapse this area of her midsection and get a bit of a nice squeeze, nice tension there. The knee to the side, also make sure she's got room to move and her knee isn't hitting baby. Our next exercise is for the upper body. It is a tricep dip. It's gonna focus on working the back of the arms. Now, ideally, when you're out and about walking with baby, you would do these with a park bench. Uh, you could even use a big stone that's around. Sometimes you'll see those out and around. Or for us right now, what we have is this fence that actually suits us quite perfectly to do this exercise. So, Feel free to use your surroundings when you're exercising. She's set up here. I'm gonna get her to take your feet a little bit wider. Again, that's perfect. Just then baby has a little bit more room to move and that might be a little bit more comfortable for you too and the belly um, as you're doing your dip. Okay, so she's bending the elbows and she's pressing. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind here for a tricep dip. You wanna make sure that the back is going up and down. You don't necessarily wanna be pulling outwards from your stationary bench area. So she's doing really great, she's up and down, she's bending through the elbows, probably really feeling it in the back of the arms right now, absolutely. Great. Well, on behalf of Snugglebugs, thank you so much for joining us today and giving us so many great tips for all of our friends to take with them out on the trails this summer with baby. I know I'm feeling a lot more confident about getting out there. Oh, you're welcome, anytime.